Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I've gotten several requests on creating this sort of stroke effect in After Effects and this is what we'll be creating. So I think it's a really cool tutorial because when we are you know, working in 3D space and we are going to basically have our text uh, you know, come on like you see here from the stroke effect and then we're also going to be using a little bit of optical flares to follow the path. So I think it is a great tutorial. So anyway, let's go here and let's uh, get started. So I'm going to start off with a fresh comp and we'll call this one Tut. And I'm using 1920 by 1080. So basically uh, what you normally would do if you want to use a stroke effect, uh, you know, what you could do is go to the text tool and you can type in, you know, your text. And then you, what, you, what you would do is, you know, go up to layer auto trace. And, uh, you know, this is pretty good, but uh, however, it's not perfect. So, it, you know, even with the best settings, which, you know, this is basically the best that I found for this. If I click OK and we turn off our back text there and we zoom in here, as you can see, the uh, text is a little bit rigid um, and, you know, it's not perfect. So auto trace is can be a fast solution, but it's not perfect. So what we'll do is uh, basically we'll go to Illustrator. So we're gonna be using Illustrator to get the paths of our text and make it very smooth. And this is the perfect method to use. So what we can do is go to the type tool and we can type in our text. And then I'm gonna go here and make it bigger. Okay, so basically if you don't have Illustrator, well, it comes with the Creative Cloud. And if you're into motion graphics, you should get Illustrator. Um, and it is a great tool. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll select our text here and we'll go up to Object Expand. And then this window pops up and we'll click OK. And then basically we get the perfect path of our text. What we'll do is we'll select it and we'll uh, copy it. And then we'll go back over to After Effects and we'll go up to Layer, New, Solid. And then we'll call this, you know, Text Path and we'll click OK. And then basically what we'll do is just paste our uh, paths in there from our copy from Illustrator. And now as you can see, uh, the uh, text is perfectly smooth, it's perfect, um, and it didn't take us long to do that. Actually, it was a little bit quicker than Auto Trace, at least I think so. So basically we have all of our masks right here, and we have nine masks, and it's looking pretty good. So the next thing what we can do to really get started here is maybe go up to Effect Generate Stroke. And basically, let's go ahead and set this to, you know, reveal or, yeah, reveal original image. So let's go ahead and click the all mask checkbox and uh, take off the check for the stroke here. And then basically, we can go and start animating this thing. So maybe I'll go to like 12 frames. And then we'll go ahead and click the stopwatch for end. Let's set that all the way to 0%. And then go to like, I don't know, 3 seconds and 12 frames. And then we'll set this all the way to 100%. So now... We have our text animating on and looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and maybe go up to um, uh, layer new null object. And then let's go ahead and just uh, basically open up mask one here. And where it says mask path, make sure to select that parameter. And we need to copy that. And then we need to open up our null object by hitting P on our keyboard to bring up position. And we'll go ahead and select the position and go to like say 12 frames here and we will hit paste okay so uh basically we have this path uh, that's already animated and it's looking pretty good so the only thing is uh we need to move this keyframe over to three frames in 12 seconds so now our null object will track everything that's going on here so now the next thing that we can do is go up to uh, create a new solid and we'll call this one flare then let's go up to affect video copilot optical flares and let's go, go ahead and open up the options. Let's go ahead and clear all. Let's add a glow and a streak. And let's go ahead and make the glow smaller. And then also the streak a lot smaller as well by adjusting the scale. And that should be fine. And then what we can do is maybe adjust the colors uh, of this flare. So you know you can do whatever you want. Let's go ahead and make it maybe maybe make it a red. And then once we're done, we'll click OK. And then let's go ahead and maybe adjust the flicker of this flare. By a little bit and then uh, let's go ahead and maybe toggle switches and modes and set this blend mode to add and then uh, basically let's go ahead and start maybe parenting our positions and stuff like that so what we can do is basically alt click the position xy for the flare here 
And then we can grab this pick whip and drag it all the way to the position here. Okay, so now it will now follow our path kind of like this. And um, that's looking pretty good. So in order to make this truly 3D, what we need to do is set the null to 3D and also the text path 3D. And then for the flare layer, go ahead and change the source type to 3D. And then what we need to do is basically alt click to position Z and parent that to the Z property of the position. So right there. Okay, so now we have the basics of flaring this together and um, doing this. So now the next thing we want to do is basically uh, take every uh, path here and go ahead and, you know, like basically open this up, mask two, copy the mask path and create a null object, you know, and paste the uh, keyframes into the null object's position. So like this. So now we'll have that null. And then once again, we'll want to go ahead and, you know, parent another flare. So what we can do is maybe duplicate this flare and, you know, hit U, hit UU on our keyboard to bring up our affected parameters. And then what we can do is maybe like pick whip this to the position of the new null object and then make the new null object 3D layer and then parent that to the position of our, uh, the 3D position of our null object there again. So now this new uh, lens flare is going to follow the new path. And then, of course, you're going to want to go ahead and do that for every single mask. It does take a little bit of time, but um, it's pretty easy to do it. So, okay, and uh, before I forget to do anything, let's also uh, maybe go to the beginning here. And we want our flares to fade on. So what I'll do is I'll click the stopwatch for brightness. And I'll hit U on my keyboard. And uh, let's go ahead and maybe bring that keyframe forward a little bit. And then maybe go to right before the animation starts and set that down to 0%. And you might want to adjust the brightness. So maybe like, you know, 100% might be too bright. So maybe we'll set it down to 40. Um, it makes it a little bit subtle. Maybe we'll do like 70 or something like that. And then uh, maybe we want, we want to go to the end of our animation here. And uh, we want to, uh, you know, turn the flare off, lower the opacity on it. So what we do is cl uh, click the stopwatch for brightness, move forward in time, maybe right when the animation ends and set it down to zero. So now this will come on and off. And maybe what we can do is make the first keyframe here an easy as keyframe. So what we can do is right click it, go to keyframe assistant and click easy as, and then go to the last keyframe here and make that an easy as as well. And I hit F9 on my keyboard for that shortcut. So, and then basically we'll make every flare like this. So we just go ahead and duplicate this and continue to move forward. Okay, so I'm back and uh, basically I went ahead and flared and nulled every uh, mask path that we had and uh, basically, it looks pretty good. I went in and went into the flare options and changed the colors as I went along. And uh, things are looking pretty good. So now what we can do is go up to layer new camera. And I'm going to use the 50 millimeter preset and click OK. And then basically, basically what I can do is go to the beginning of our timeline, uh, hit P on our keyboard for position, click the stopwatch to add a keyframe, and then move forward. Actually, let's go ahead and move this keyframe to like the end of our animation, which is like at... Uh, three seconds and 12 frames. And then let's go to the beginning here and let's just go ahead and select the uh, orbit camera tool right here. And let's go ahead and just kind of offset this by a little bit. So now if we move along here, we just, uh, you know, made everything a 3D layer or we put this up in 3D space and it's looking pretty good. So uh, basically the last thing that we can do to, you know, finish this effect is we can go to like our uh, test text path right here, duplicate that layer, um, and let's go ahead and select the bottom layer here, delete the stroke, and then say about right here, go to like maybe uh, three seconds and six frames, hit T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity, click the stopwatch for opacity, and let's go ahead and maybe move this keyframe forward in time to like three seconds and 12 frames, and set the opacity down to 0%. So now our full text will basically just fade on. So that looks really awesome. I think it was a great tutorial. If you guys have any questions or any requests for tutorials, please drop a comment down below or check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if this video has been helpful, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.